Welcome back to John's Daily Calls. Um, guys, something exploding is a call we had at 75K. The Roan is pumping and pushing. So if you guys were in on our on our call, bang, baby, bang. I love to see it. Things you love to see. So, uh, Verone, here's the thing. Why is this popping? Travel Plus. Guys, we got a lot to talk about today. It's the John Daily Calls. Um, this is where I break down the market, tell you guys what I'm buying, what, I'm, what I think you guys should buy. Even if I'm not buying stuff, there's other options on the table that you guys could get in. There is a wave up and down, up and down, up and down. And we are going to try to get you in sync with that wave. Different waves happen all the time. And that's what the purpose of John's Daily Calls. Uh, welcome in. Uh, big Guys, big news, big news. Uh, first off, if you want to see this before anybody else does, hit that prime sub um on twitch and you guys can see this video before anybody else and get into our premium discord anyways um winner wild cards guys ea have officially this is breaking news this is breaking news ladies and gentlemen fc24 ultimate team winner wild cards sbc schedule this is the actual Winter Wild Cards SPC schedule. Uh, we have, it looks like, a Baby Hullet, a Gabriel Martinelli, a Hernandez, and they tell us which day they are coming. This is insane. Seriously, this is insane. And my favorite boy, Johnny Stones. This is big, big news. Why is this big news? Because could it be the end of the leakers? Guys, don't forget to go follow me on Twitter where we are, uh, uh, I guess, trying to grow. <laughs> anyways, anyways, um, we are currently in elite division. So if you guys need help getting better at the game, we have started a tutorial guide on my gameplay analysis on how to get better at the mind behind it. If you guys are really good at mechanics, but you need help with the mentality, go check it out our tutorials on the playlist. You guys can check it on our channel. But uh, let's update, guys. Caramo, <laughs> double down. Uh, Phil is on the double Caramo, man. I can't believe he's still at 35K, bro. I it's just going to keep going down. So if you're holding those Phillips, get get rid of it. It's going to be like Caramo. It's going to be forever before he plays his next round. Um, I am 100% out. Out, out, out. Get out. Out, out, out. Now, get out of the SP. Get out of these cards as soon as possible. Run for the hills. I am never going to go back into FC Pro. My coin account would be nearly at $9 million had... We had had Matthias won his first match with Caramo, we would have been at like six mil. Had Tex won his first match against Levi, we would have been at another at nine mil plus. And so it's very frustrating that we're sticking uh, we're sticking right around three mil um, instead of going going up big 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 time. So, anyways, I'm done with FC Pro. I'm never trading on these. These are some of been some of the worst cards that we've ever traded on, and some of these cards that we even hit and won on, which was Simicon and Malin, they still didn't do fantastic. So the risk versus reward is extremely high. I would never touch these. I'm not gonna touch these cards probably ever again. Never again. That just just completely out. Toast. I'm done with it. Um, anyways, I'm going to start going in on stuff that I find valuable, like Veron, uh, Jao Cancelo. Um, and so this Jao Cancelo, we'll talk about this in a second. Before we get into that, we need to talk about the market crash. We have a market crash, ladies and gentlemen. We have a market crash coming in. Um, it's already started. As you guys know, this card is out of packs and these breaking trend going down, 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 down. What else is going down? Cards like Rude, Hullet, they've already started their trend, especially on PC here. They're going down. Everything is going down. Uh, even cards like Ronaldo here, Trailblazer Ronaldo, these type of stuff is big, big. Th 365? Nope. 270. So that is significant over the day-to-day -day period. So when you see 5% down on the day, that doesn't mean it wasn't 10% down yesterday and 10% down the day before. And that's what's happening right now. We are going to see this. We have been calling this for days. Guys, you, we even have, we have, I, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull up you guys a thumbnail to show you guys the thumbnails on our channel. You guys can go back just a couple days, but you'll see that we have, we have essentially called it almost every single day. Anyways, um, Jao Cancelo. So Jao Cancelo is my is my favorite card to pull out of this trade. Here's the concept that I want you guys to think about. Oh, here it is. The, literally the last, literally the last video. 
over a day ago, and then we had one several days ago. Where is it? Uh, we had one from several days ago. So it, it's a uh, this trade method. Ooh. Um, basically, 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 uh, all these guys. What well, we do gameplay analysis, but here's the market crash. Crash coming five days ago. Five days ago, we had the call, guys. We had the call in five days ago. Um, anyways, uh, so subscribe. That's all I can say is just uh, if you see a crash coming, make sure you click on the video. If you see a hey, new investments, click on the video. You guys need help getting better at the game? Click on the video and then subscribe to ask questions to me directly. Anyways, um, 370 right now. So we have 370,000 coins. We are so here's here's the here's the trade strategy. This card to me is the best card out of the group. So out of the team of the Sage group stage. Uh, there are other cards that are probably better, but in the, in the idea of the meta of like the, I guess the pro. So like whenever I like to invest guys, I like to put the mic coin where the market's going to go um, at some point. So like Griezmann, it's a good card, but realistically the game's moving away from three star weak foot. Um, Rodrigo, decent card. A lot of people already have the trailblazer. Musiala, fantastic card. Not great links. Um, Saka, four star, four star. We're trying to get away from that. Good card, right? Uh, Bellingham. Now, this is a card that I could see you guys investing in. Uh, and same thing with like this Mbappe. I, I see this one as an opportunity as well. And so for Jude Bellingham, Mbappe, and Kinsale, however, there's several cards with uh, with Bellingham. So everybody that did the player of the month, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, but anyways. Those are the cards, and actually this Raphael layout, but the links are a little bit hard. So, those are kind of my favorite cards from this uh, tra from this group stage. But this is the strategy that I want you guys to think about going forward. Right now, we have to think about a couple of variables. Number one, number one, the variable is this: we have a potential market crash coming over the next few days. Right, we have a potential market crash coming down and between now and uh christmas day that's what's happened in the past okay that's what's happened in the past the past is best predict for the future i can't tell you exactly what's gonna happen unless i work for ea and uh i tell you if they're gonna pull lightning rounds if those sbcs are coming but now we actually know the date of these sbcs which is means it's like guys this is like meaning that it's like better than actual leakers you know what i'm trying to say this is like insane to me this is insane to know the actual date coming from ea direct which is wild to me which is absolutely wild to me but anyways here's the strategy hold or wait to buy right now you wait until thursday right and then you see what happens over the weekend this weekend is going to tell us if this card is going to continue to go down or if it's going to continue to rise and here's why Thursday, it should be the cheapest due to the promo, right? So it's already lower than it was on Sunday. So that's already telling us that it's, it's going to be cheapest on Thursday. Number one. Number two, when we get through this weekend, there should be a big sell-off. There should be a lot of players selling off for the holidays, right? It's the 19th. We're about a few days. We're just a few days before... You know, we're just a few days before, what's it called? Um, uh, I guess Christmas and the holiday season. We're already in holiday season, essentially. So, the concept is there could be a huge sell-off. However, if this card starts to stay flat and it doesn't move by Monday or it goes up a little, it should continue to go up. Because I believe almost every pro meta squad will have Jao Cancelo in their in their in their team the when it comes to when i when i think about players and where the money's going um a four hundred thousand coin card for a pro for a pro right back is significantly cheap very very cheap so i would say cancelo is higher than almost all uh kafu i've heard bad things from kafu even though I've also heard good things from Kafu. So I would rate I would rate Cancelo higher than Zambrota, James, Kunde, Orojo, Frempong. And then he's up he's up with uh he's up with Kafu, Torres. Um he's up he's up here. 
That's where that card is. So, in my opinion, the only thing that he lacks is a little bit of pace, but the the amount of ability to be able to man manage the ball, I think he's going to be almost every single pro squad out there. So, given that, I see a very, very high, high chance of moving up. That's why I like Cancelo higher than Bellingham, although I think that a lot of people just love Bellingham. Um, so, anyways, and Mbappe, the 93. However, if the team of the month or a player of the month comes out then that could be bad but anyways that's the concept wait until this weekend see what happens and then go okay wait until after the weekend though until after the weekend you have about five days um it's better to to wait and buy just a little bit after after it's gone up a little bit than to go in and it and it flops so anyways moving into the next level investments there's very uh you know there's not a ton of times when i just say guys it's time to go all all in it's time it's time guys um 86s if you guys like fodder trades uh not this one um oh whoop. if you guys like fodder trades and you guys are like i'm done with the, i'm done with the fc pro i'm done with all that crap um i would be in 86s some reason these just popped to 10 5 uh i was just on here earlier and they were at 9 6 9 yeah there we go so 9 6 Buy them around 9k if you can on bid, uh, snipe right, and get down to a position. Here's the here's the, here's the concept, guys. This this is one of those opportunities where like if you're going into the holidays, you're not going to play for a while, and all you have to do is just check every couple days to see if it stuff goes up. 86s are what you want to do um, because typically the price will stay up for one two couple days, one two couple days, one two three four five, one two three right. Um, so these are just down and they're down really low. Uh, doesn't mean they can't go down to 8,600. They doesn't mean they can't go down 7k, right? I, I, the, the, the hard, it would be so hard for them to go down to seven, but 8,600, whatever it is. Here's the thing is you buy in and then you sit and you wait and you just time it. And it's hundred percent. This is hundred percent safe trade in my opinion at nine K. And here's the thing. If they go down to 8,600, you know, they're going to go up and they're going to hit. You're going to splash on those. The reason why I wouldn't go on to 85s is because of just the amount of time it takes to do it. Uh, that's that's realistically it. Now th they're just about the same. They're near. They're near the same. Um, except for this gives me a little bit more fear than than anything. I like. I think I like 86 is more. That's where I'd be. Um, 89s just if they come down like 33 and 88s down to like 19, 20. That's then we're spreading margin. The only reason why I would go with 86s versus eight or 89s versus the other stuff is because this stuff pops faster. So you may be able to get a double trade in. However, um, it's not going to be as a higher return of, uh, rate of percentage. Uh, your percentage is going to be a lo lot lower. Uh, Informs popped yesterday. We had a new SBC that popped. Um, and so we had, I believe, the 84 times 5 is what popped uh, the the uh, the Informs. And so uh, is that, I believe, is that, I, I think it is repeatable, right? So it's, it's going to be repeatable. So... Um, it's just going to drain the inform market. So he, he, here's here's the here, but this gives us a lot of notification going forward. Um, will the SBCs be uh, repeatable? Um, being repeatable will impact the inform market more than anything. It's wild to me that these are actually like like people are spending forty thousand coins instead of just grinding out an eighty three team of the week because it's half the price, right? Uh, it's it's weird to me that somebody's doing that. Um, it's just weird to me that uh, people are they're they're spending coin on the eighty three team of the weeks uh, on those team of the weeks. But that t just tells you where the demand is and where the what what's going to happen, I guess, in the future. So until next time, guys. That's this is a big daily update. Um, I need to finish a project today. Uh, it's Tuesday, so I need to finish a, a a quick thing, and then I should be live. I'm going to be trading regardless in the premium more more frequently um, uh, because I you know uh, it's really hard to bid battle when you have 200 people watching or even 50. Um, so just one person can out outbid you. So anyways, until next time, guys, my name is John. This is your daily calls. Thanks for tuning in. And if you haven't liked or subscribed, make sure you guys like and subscribe. subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow. Deuces.